Okay, question 15 is about functions and range and domain. Here we have a function. Function of x is 3x minus 5 for all values of x. Solve f of x squared equals 43. So that means we've got x here, we've got x squared here. All we need to do is replace the x with x squared. So we get f of x squared equals... 3x squared minus 5. All I've done is replace the x with the x squared. And we're told that f of x squared is 43. So put that in. 43 equals 3x squared minus 5. Now all we need to do is solve this. Um, it's a quadratic, so we'll make this equal to 0. Take the 43 over. So we've got 3x squared minus 5 minus another 43 is minus 48. Factorise the 3 out. So we've got 0 equals 3x squared minus 16. Because 3 goes into 48 16 times. Now you need to recognise that x squared is a square number. 16 is a square number. We have a difference. So it's a difference of 2 squares. So that is 0 equals 3 brackets x plus 4 x minus 4 multiply that out you'll see we get back to um, x squared minus 16 so now we solve it x is minus 4 here and x is plus 4 there x equals minus 4 or x equals 4 and that's that one done here we've got a sketch this is uh, the sketch of g of x, which is this, the whole thing, g of x. It's both parts. And it has a domain um, from x is greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 8. Remember, the domain is the x values. Range is y values. It goes alphabetical order. x is d, y is r for domain and range. Okay, so we need two separate parts to the answer. Um, it says it's symmetrical about x equals 4. So I've got that. And the range is 12. So that means the range goes up to 12. So we know that the coordinates of this point is 4, 12. And that's what we need to use for most of this question. Work out the function of x. Now we've got this part here. This is the easier part. So we'll look at this part first. Now we've got this part here is 12 up and 4 across. So the gradient is change in y over change in x, which is 12 over 4. And we know that any straight line is the form of y equals mx plus c. So we've got y equals mx plus c. And we know the gradient is m. In this case, it's 12 over 4. So y equals 12 over 4x plus 0, because it cuts at 0. That's the y-intercept c. Simplify this, y equals 12 divided by 4 is 3x. Now we need to give the domain of this part because the domain is different for each part of the graph. For this part is different, this part. So this, the domain is 0 to 4. So we put 0x4. Notice we've got the equals underneath because we've got this domain is 0, 8 and it's got the equals part there. So it includes the 4. So that part's done. Now let's look at this part. Now it's symmetrical about here, so if this gradient is 3x, or this gradient is 3, this gradient must be minus 3. So we've got y equals minus 3x plus c. We don't know the value of c. We're going to find it. We could find it because it's symmetrical. You can see that it's going to be 24. Um, or we can just substitute x and y value in. I can say that it's 24, but I'll show you how to do it in general. Uh, we substitute 4, 12, because we know that's on the line. So we've got x is 4, y is 12. So substitute these in, we get 12 equals 3, minus 3 times 4 plus c. 12 equals minus 12 plus c. Take the 12 over, add 12, you get 24 equals c. Now all we do is substitute it back into here. You get y equals 
minus 3x um, plus 24. And the range you can see uh, for this one is 4 to 8. So we've got uh, 4 to 8. Alright? Now, all we'll do is put these in the answer um, mark. So we've got this on the line here. y equals 3x. And this one, y equals negative 3x plus 24. And that's it.